Today I'm going to show you how to draw a, a climatic graph. When we look at climatic graph, climatic data is always in temperature and precipitation being rainfall. We always have a table either located at the top or the bottom of a climatic graph. The table is divided into the months of the year, followed by the temperature and the precipitation for that year. Temperature is always done in degrees Celsius and the temperatures within the month are averaged. So for example, for April, oh, April, they would add up all the temperatures in April and divide it by 30 because there are 30 days in April. So when we do a climatic graph, we look at temperature first. A way to remember where it is located on the graph is we say top is the temperature. The temperature is always in increments of 5 degrees and we always put the temperature on the right hand side of the chart. So these numbers relate to that side of the chart. So when we start graphing the temperature, we look at 25 degrees goes in January and it goes in the centre of the month. So this column here is January and if you have a look here it says 25 degrees. We then do the same for the rest of the months. So February is 25 degrees, March is 23 degrees, April is 21 degrees, May is 18 degrees, June is 16 degrees. July is 15 degrees, August is 16 degrees, September is 18 degrees, October is 21 degrees, November 23 and December is 24 degrees. We then make sure that we join the dots with a line graph. We don't use a ruler, we make sure it's freehand. The next thing to note is I did not join those dots to the line. Always make sure you just join it dot to dot. The next thing we look at when we look at a climatic graph is we look at graphing the temperature, so the precipitation, so the amount of rainfall that has fallen. When we look at the precipitation, these are the numbers on the bottom. A way of remembering that is if we go, it's a block, it's blue, and it's on the bottom. So again, we look at the numbers as the numbers are going to be relating to a month. Precipitation is all of the rainfall for the month added up and totaled. It's not averaged when we see that number there. So we would go 167 is January. Then 161. 144, 88, 69, and June is also 69, 54, 48, 48 also. October we're starting to see a rise again so it's 74 millimeters. November is 95 and December is 128 degrees, millimeters. So now we're able to turn these into column graphs or blocks as a way to remember it. And you can leave it like that or you can colour them in. It's up to you.
And now you've drawn a climatic graph.